if you were to throw away everything that you think and everything that I see, what is the insight that you're having about yourself? And I'm proposing to you that what I'm sharing in satsang resonates with that direct insight. Okay? But you have to tell me that you know, when, I have, when I check really about what I am and where I am, what you're saying does not resonate with them. Okay? And what I'm thinking actually resonates more with them. Okay? And if you say that, then of course, then I would not say, oh, don't, don't go just with what the mind is saying. I'm just proposing that, let's for a minute, presume that what this mind is saying about you is not the truth about you. See if upon your own investigation, you find that the words of satsang are true or what the mind is saying is true. So first you see this for yourself. And then when you see this for yourself, then you'll find that how should I deal with someone who's undergoing all of this pain is not a pro problem that you have to solve anyway. Because in the light of your existence, automatically the what flows is flow, just flow. So, so what matches more your insight about yourself? Does your thinking match it more, or does what you're hearing in satsang match it more? So that is that is why it is important because we have to have our own discovery as the pillar for. This. You see, the words of satsang can just be pointers, they can just be clues for your exploration. But, but if it just becomes about two different type of concepts that you have to deal with, one is a concept that, oh, I'm this, that life is just a lot of this struggle and trouble, and there's another concept which seems like, oh, but you're not here at all, you're not in this universe, you see, that, that seems very convenient. <laughs> so it can seem like that, isn't it? So, and I know that the, the habit and the natural way in this world has become to treat that as reality. Which is that, oh, I am this individual and I have all this trouble to deal with. And uh, you will hear this voice in Satsang Gairi which is saying, but just examine for yourself whether it is true. Don't take my word for it. Don't uh, just believe me. But just be open enough to check for yourself. And if at some point, that is a disconnect, then I'm very happy to have it. But otherwise, that the mind is saying <laughs> that you are limited and this sounds like a very convenient escapism or something like that, that I know the mind will say. <laughs> so I'm not inviting you to escape from reality. I'm actually inviting you to look at it without any glasses on. Make it look at reality. Tell me what you want. This will hold you in good stead. See, no matter what comes in life, which teachers there, who, which environment you're in, whether you're in a war zone or you're in a nice place, if you just learn to rely on your own insight, you'll be in a very good step. You can't be so shaken because somebody says, it's like this, you know, show me, can I see it? Really? And if someone comes in and you can't see it, you have to just take my word for it, and you can safely run. <laughs> because this must be the verifiable through your own inner insight, what is being shared, otherwise just words. <laughs>